Now, sabr and patience is one thing that we all need to learn how to do. You have to go through life through sabr. Now, everybody, I'm going to ask you to do one thing. Just say sabr. Say it. Right. How long did that take you? Took you a second to say. But to act upon sabr, on sabr, takes you a lifetime. Half a lifetime. Years. Patience doesn't come with just words. You have to take through people through sabr. Now, I'll tell you one another thing that you can find a lot of, lot of good things in is the stories of the Anbiya from the Quran. Every single prophet went through affliction and all the afflictions are in the Quran. And from their afflictions, you say the same dua that they used in their affliction, you will be able to find relief as well. The biggest one which appears in the hadith of Tirmidhi as well to say this and also is in the Quran is, this, is the one that Yunus said. Which one was that? لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين. There is no other God except for You, O Allah. There is no other one who is worthy of worship except for You. سبحانك You are free from every blame. You are free from every defect. You are free from anything that I have done wrong myself. You are free from anything that anyone else has attributed to yourself that is wrong. Inni kuntu min al I am the one who was wronged himself. You say that to Allah. Allah says, فَاسْتَجَبْنَا لَهُ وَنَجَّيْنَاهُ مِنَ الْغَمِّ وَكَذَلِكَ نُنْجِ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ Thus, we saved Yunus from the belly of the whale. We took him out and just like this, every believer until the day of judgment, every believer, I will help them, I will save them through this dua. كَذَلِكَ نُنْجِ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ So you say that. La ilaha illa anta subhanak inni kuntu minal zalimin. First admit to your fault in front of the mighty one. The mighty one loves you, my friend. The mighty one loves you. Doesn't he love you? While you sin, he still feeds you. While you sin, he still clothes you. While you sin, he still gives you your daily bread. He gives you water. He gives you food. He gives you salary end of the month. He gives you a nice wife. He gives you children. He's given you hundreds and thousands of gifts that Allah has given. وَإِن تَعُدُّوا نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ لَا تُحْسُوهَا You try and count Allah's gifts. You try and count them. It's impossible, Allah says. You will not be able to count my gifts. Isn't it so funny how we all walk around? Never even thinking of the days under the ground The drive and ambition taking over our lives For this world, for the fame, for the power do we strive